Let's take a look at a double check valve backflow prevention assembly, which will be referred to from this point forward as the DC. First, I'll introduce you to the various parts of the DC. Let's begin with test cock number one, shutoff valve number one, test cock number two, check valve number one, test cock number three, check valve number two, test cock number four, and finally shutoff valve number two. Before beginning the procedure, we must complete the preliminary steps. Notify. Identify. Inspect. And observe. Now let's begin the field test procedure. First, let's test for the tightness of check valve number one. Bleed water through test cocks to eliminate foreign material by opening and closing each test cock. Install appropriate fittings. If test cock number three is not at the highest point of the check valve body, then a vertical tube or pipe must be installed on test cock number three so that it rises to the top of the check valve body. Attach bleed-off valve arrangement to test cock number two and the hose from the high side of the field test kit to the bleed-off valve. Open test cock number two. And bleed all air from the field test kit by opening the high side bleed needle valve. Then close the high side bleed needle valve. Open test cock number three to fill the test cock number three, or tube if attached, so that the water level is above the top of the body. Then close test cock number three. Close number two shutoff valve. The field test kit must be maintained at the same elevation as the water at test cock number three. Then close number one shutoff valve. Slowly open test cock number three. After the reading stabilizes and water stops running out of test cock number three or is no more than a drip, the reading indicated on the field test kit is the differential pressure across check valve number one and is to be recorded as such. The reading must be one PSID or greater. In this case, the reading is 3.2 PSID, a passing value. Close all test cocks. Open shutoff valve number one and remove all test equipment. Now, let's test for the tightness of check valve number two. Attach bleed off valve arrangement to test cock number three and hose from the high side of the field test kit to the bleed off valve. If test cock number four is not at the highest point of the check valve body, then a vertical tube or pipe must be installed on test cock number four so that it rises to the top of the check valve body. Open test cock number three and bleed all air from the field test kit by opening the high side bleed needle valve, then closing the high side bleed needle valve. Open test cock number four to fill test cock number four, or tube if attached, so that the water level is above the check valve body, then close test cock number four. The field test kit must be maintained at the same elevation as the water at test cock number four. Close number one shutoff valve. Slowly open test cock number four. After the reading stabilizes and water stops running out of test cock number four, or is no more than a drip, the reading indicated on the field test kit is the differential pressure across check valve number two and is to be recorded as such. The reading must be one PSID or greater. In this case, the reading is 2.4 PSID, a passing value. Close all test cocks. Remove all test equipment. 
Remove fittings. Open shutoff valve number one, then slowly open shutoff valve number two. The following must be recorded. Number one check valve, 3.2 PSID. Number two check valve, 2.4 PSID. Overall assembly status, pass. This concludes the test.